in this document we will be discussing about aci contracting aci is a whitelist model where everything is uh, denied by default if you want to do the communication between two endpoint you have to have a contract without contracting the communication between two endpoint doesn't work so if you go uh, go to the gui and uh, if I click on the VRF, in the VRF you can go to the policy and uh, there is option for policy control enforcement preference. Okay, so by default is enforced. If you click uh, as a unenforced, then all the communication uh, between the EPG, so part of the VRF one will be allowed, like a traditional NXOS. You do not need any contact. But the recommended way is to go as enforced and uh, configure the contract between the endpoints as required. So we'll go with the default mode enforced, okay, and uh, uh, we'll apply the contract. So in my scenario, I have a two server app and DP, uh, sorry, app and web, and uh, I have a con configure the contract app web uh, contract. Uh, where the uh, uh, app EPG will be the consumer and the web EPG will be the provider. So consumer will be the one who is going to consume the services and provider will be the one who is going to provide the services. So like client and server. So client is consume the server and server is provide the server service. So accordingly you will have to define the contract. So basically the contract if I would like to if I am going to compare with the ACL so where in the ACL you define IP plus port so, uh, so which is equivalent to like combination of EPG plus contract in the ACI so where IP layer information is in the EPG and the port layer information in the contract so combination of EPG plus contract uh, would be equal to ACL so let's uh, look at the configuration so I have a contract, a web contract, um, where I have created the subject, app web subject. So that's a subject you have to create. And uh, the what kind of the traffic you are allowing, that is the filter. So what kind of the filter you are using it. And in the filter, you can define the type of the traffic you are allowing between two endpoints. So the filter I have created, app web filter. So I'll go to that filter. and what this filter is says uh, ether type is ip protocol tcp source unspecified that means any and destination port is http so that means any source and destination port http so i have epg1 uh, which is the app and uh, there i have configured uh, this contract apply this contract as a consumer so i'll go to epg1 contract and you can see app web contract as a consumed and the similar in the epg2 i have applied as contract as a provided app web contract as a provided another way you can check is uh, you can go directly to the contract and then go to the topology you can see epg1 as a consumer and the EPG2 as a provider. So, you, another way you can go to the peer entity and then you can see EPG1 as a consumer EPG. And EPG2 as a provider EPG. So, in the next video, we will be discussing about the troubleshooting of contract. Thank you for watching this video.